I'm Alistair Mann and this morning I, I went out to Loch Rusky, had a fantastic uh, sunrise this morning. Uh, last night I was checking the apps that I use uh, all of the time and knew there was going to be a nice little bit of cloud. You never know what type of cloud it's going to be but uh, you, you want to take advantage uh, of these uh, conditions whenever you, whenever you get the chance. So it was an early start, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Uh, up, uh, out the door, on the way uh, past, picked up my, my pal Gavin, and off we went to Loch Rusky. Now, very, very surprised uh, that when we got to Loch Rusky, there was no one else there. And we had the place to ourselves. Doesn't happen very often. Uh, it was a, it was really, uh, it was a really nice morning. Now, whenever we got there, we we did have uh, a little bit of a welcoming party. The Scottish Midge uh, had fo followed me from Glencoe uh, the other week, uh, it's, but it, w it wasn't as bad. Uh, the sun came up uh, just after half past four and it illuminated the sky. It was amazing. Now, what I wanted to show you, first of all, is the, a quick vlog of me actually getting uh, the shots and then from uh, from that vlog I'm going to go into uh, the editing procedure uh, so that I can show you how I uh, how simple I go about my editing. So sit back, watch the vlog and as I say then we'll go straight into uh, the editing procedures. Good morning and welcome to Loch Rusky. Uh, it's behind me, fantastic uh, sunrise. However, the part that I'm concentrating on is what's in front of me. I always try and shoot away from the, the sunrise uh, if possible, because then you're, you're not going to get blown out highlights. So I'm just going to uh, set this composition up. I'm waiting for the boats uh, to turn round. The settings is at the moment F9. Uh, one sixth of a second, ISO 500, but it is still pretty dark at the moment. Now the, the colour's been here uh, a few minutes now. Normally it never lasts that long. So it's a waiting game uh, to see if these boats are uh, going to turn around. Ever so slowly, the more light comes in, then I can start bringing down uh, the ISO as with anything in photography, uh, it's it's a balancing act, but getting nice reflections on the on the water, uh, as you can see there, fantastic morning. Gavin set up a, a different kind of uh, composition. Uh, and uh, the midges are at him as well. Uh, there's no escape in these little buggers. As you can see behind me, the mist is rolling in. And uh, it's nice, but there's uh, the colour in the sky uh, has disappeared. Yeah, we're getting the, getting the ISO right down. Just waiting, just waiting, just waiting on those boats uh, moving round. So a good thing about the, the Ben Row uh, geared head uh, with the L bracket, it's so, so simple uh, to turn uh, everything round. Couple more shots. Now I've got a polarizer on here, uh, as well as a a point uh, a point three grad at the moment, uh, medium grad. I always find uh, the less less of a grad you can get away with, the the better. Nice reflections, beautiful. Yeah, liking liking these here. Now it's uh, it was an early start. Uh, 
two o'clock in the morning, uh, get out of my pit, as I left Fife, uh, you saw you saw the, the clouds there, there was little bits of light starting to creep through, uh, picked uh, Gavin up and down to Loch Rusky. Uh, anyone that comes here, bear in mind, there's not a lot of parking here, so uh, if you're not fast, you're last. Uh, it's many a time to come here and if you're too late, you won't get a parking space and it's a good good half a mile walk up that way uh, before you can get parked again. There's not there's not a lot of different compositions here. There's about three or four different ones and if you get uh, a few people here, uh, you don't want to be, there's another one, uh, bumping, bumping into you. So I'll carry on, uh, it's getting getting a few more shots and taking in this here uh, beautiful morning. Yep, there's the, the boats, they're moving, they're moving ever so slightly. And a little bit of mist uh, rolling across. Maybe it's in the back, it's not, it's not too bad. I hate wearing that bloody thing. Now we're going to go straight into the, the editing. Uh, it's, there's not a lot to actually do uh, in the editing procedure. As you can see, the, the colours uh, that morning were fantastic. So we won't have to go daft uh, making, making colours that weren't actually there that morning. So into Bridge, uh, Camera Raw. Zoom back out again. Now as you notice here, my uh, sensor is going to need cleaned or I'm going to use the, the blower uh, first of all, it uh, wasn't there the other day and uh, whether you change lenses or whether you don't, sometimes dust can get in there. So I'll, I'll be checking that there uh, later on. Now as you can see, this here is it's pretty dark as, and it was as, it was was dark uh, at that time in the morning and this here seemed to be the, the best shot because I always wanted to single uh, this here particular boat out. As you can see here, clip warning is telling me that was the where the moon was reflection, but we'll be getting rid of that there as well. So I'm just going to quickly go through uh, my procedure. As you can see, the histogram pretty pretty spot on, and F8 and one fifth of a second, ISO 500. As I said, it was still pretty dark, but it was the best shot with the well one of the only shots. Uh, whenever the boat had separated from uh, the others. So it's go to Vivid this time. It's up to yourself as shot. Now what I want to do is bring the brightness up just a little bit. I'm not worried uh, about the moon because I'll be getting rid of that there anyway. We can't see it on here for it was it's just a little bit further up. It's a, it's with any type of editing, it's always a, a balancing act. What I want to concentrate on here, though, is, is to pull a little bit of detail out. And we can do that. We don't want to go too far. Happy happy with what we've got there. The whites of the boats, we want that boat to, to pop a little bit. As I said, it's an ACR, whether it's Lightroom or Photoshop, uh, putting up a little bit of clarity. You can you can see the the difference. We don't we certainly don't want this here image uh, soft. And the here, I don't really touch that at all. Now vibrance, certainly certainly don't want to go that far. Less is always more. Let's have a look. And just a touch. I don't normally don't normally go that far. I right, so pull that back a little bit. So that there's the basic edit here. Now zoom in. Now the the boat is my main uh my main subject here. So I'm going to push the the sharpening up as norm as always. You can always uh, sharpen at the end if need be, depending on how much edit you do. Depending on what it does, does it make it soft and you need to resharpen it again? So I'll zoom back out. 
no artifacts there. And see a little bit of barrel distortion there. It was uh, 24 to 70 uh, I was using that morning. So that there is just quick edits. So what I'm now going to do is open it up into Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, just going to quickly get rid of the bits that I, I'm not happy with. Uh, namely, namely here. Now I'm going to have to do a, a video one day of the, the different ways to remove uh, objects and what one suit is more suitable for you. So let's just use the, the patch tool on this occasion. By the way, job's a good one. I don't see, I don't see anything else uh, there. Now that there, so now what I want to do is do just a, a quick crop. Keeping that, uh, that boat on that line of thirds and to the right hand side. Ideally it would have been great if the boat was uh, facing in. It's the boats uh, that are moored up there attached to the rope. Luckily enough I didn't see any rope attached to there. It's on that buoy and it was under the water. They're, they're always going to go uh, that way. Uh, so getting the boats in a different way is going to be uh, pretty difficult. Right, so flatten that there down. Now, what I'm quickly going to do then is open up into Luminar. I know I keep banging on about uh, Luminar 2018, but it's a fantastic tool. Uh, it's, it's one that I, I enjoy using. And uh, unless you push it too far, it's, re it's actually realistic. So add filters straight away to my favourite now you boost it up a little bit you can always pull it down so as we saw in the video uh, that colour was actually there so it's always good to see because sometimes you see some images and you go no way was the, the sky that colour on this occasion it actually was let's have a look happy happy with that there now, is there anything else here that I feel that I need to need to use? Let's just go through everything. As you can see, the detail has been pulled out. That uh, accent AI filter, fantastic! It covers it covers everything, a little bit of everything, and it's bringing out the the detail uh, that I'm really uh, I'm really really happy with. Now. It's, as it goes here, as I say, there's, there's not a lot. I don't want to be pushing something in here for the sake of it. So, Luminar 2018, quickest and easiest uh, one that I've ever had to do. Now, let's see what it looks like uh, once I get back into Photoshop. As you can see, boom, happy, happy with that there. Now, what I want to do is pull out, or a bit of dodging and burning on on the boat itself, but not too much, because bearing in mind it has to the reflection. We don't really don't really want to be doing too much so that it it looks fake. Now, dodging and burning, get rid of that there. Background copy, always work on a, a background copy. Now the burn tool that darkens. We don't want to darken on this occasion. Hold on. Why is that not working? Hmm. There we go. It's the dodge tool that we want. Now, what I want to do is zoom in on the boat. Using the background layer because if something happens that we're not happy with, we can always get rid of that particular background copy. So we're not working on the actual uh, background, well, the, the actual image itself. Now, if we go back to the dodge tool, we're going to lighten it. Now, 4%. Uh, now, in this case, it's going to be the highlights. 
and it's just slowly and surely now the right hand side of this image that was in shadow so we're not we're not going to touch anything there uh, whatsoever just a little bit because everything everything has to match you can't have say for instance uh, the top of the boats and then the reflection not done the same big big difference there so we'll zoom back out and just as uh, happy happy with that there so I'm going to flatten that layer bear in mind any time you flatten a layer that's it done you'll not you'll be go back to make the them adjustments again now uh, I personally haven't uh, upgraded to the new well it's not new It's not happening today, is it? Oh, there we go. Uh, to the next software, I'm still old uh, using the the old version. So I'm going to pick up a uh, Color EFX Pro. Now, at the moment, they haven't made uh, made any real changes other uh, than no, it hasn't happened to me. But other than uh, crashing, some people has had uh, issues there. So let's have a look to see. Now that there's taken everything that I've done away, so we don't we don't want to go there. Now the good thing about that, let's have a look. I'm liking that little bit of pop. I'll take it back a little bit. So it's that boat. That boat. I want to. Uh, to be pushing out as much as I can and I'm okay with that there as you can see Luminar is just as quick as the old Nick so let's we'll take that to one screen or one side now as you can see here uh, that there's the the image took a couple of minutes to make uh, these adjustments if you've got the, the colour in the sky, a little bit of vibrance, occasionally just a little touch uh, of saturation and then uh, Luminar or uh, Nick Software, uh, or is it DXO it's going to be uh, called now, but I think everyone's going to call it Nick. As you can see, uh, job's a good one. Simple uh, edit procedure. There's no reason why anybody shouldn't be uh, getting fantastic results uh, with their their images these days as things are so simple so gonna leave this here image here and it was a pleasure uh, getting up at two o'clock in the morning I was actually excited knowing that there was going to be cloud but stepping out as uh, the front door in the morning to see yep I just hope that there cloud uh, is over at Loch Rusky and it was it was it was amazing uh, Gavin, uh, who I went with, he he enjoyed it as well. I think both of us have never seen a, a sunrise as good at Loch Rusky over there. Right place, right time. So thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed what I've done and you haven't done so already, please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. I'm hoping to be getting a few different styles of uh, vlogs uh, in the next few weeks. And time will tell. But thank you for watching.